this. For our selectivity, our selectivity is going to be based on our ILID stability. If we look at two possible reactions, both of them starting with the same aldehyde, in one case, is, case we have the phosphorus ILID with this simple three carbon group attached. We're going to use an anhydrous solvent. The major product for this reaction is actually the cis or Z isomer. If we do the same starting material but now look at a phosphorus ilid where we have a carbonyl and we'll use the same solvent. In this case, now we're going to end up with the trans or E isomerization. So what's the difference between these two ilids? Well, if we draw those out, in the case of the first, we have the triphenyl and we draw the resonance contributor for that, we can see that this carbon negative is actually um, isolated. There's no way to stabilize this. So this is an unstabilized illit. If we look at the phosphorus ilid for our other reagent, in this case we have that carbonyl right next to it, so we have the pi system. If we draw it, we can see that the carbon negative now could actually be delocalized through resonance to the conjugated pi system. So we have a stabilized illid. Stabilized illid is going to tend to give us the E or transform where the unstabilized ilid is going to give us the cis or s form. So let's try a problem with this. We're going to use benzaldehyde as our aldehyde or ketone and we're going to add this phosphorus illid. So what's going to be happening? Think about what you just saw and think about what possibly could happen in this reaction. Well, The important parts for this one, since we know that we're looking at the aromatic, this is not at an electrophilic aromatic substitution type reaction. This is going to be a phosphorus ilid, so therefore what we're going to be looking at, the most important parts we're going to be looking at, of course, are the carbonyl and the phosphorus. We know that we're going to end up with the phosphorus oxygen. Phosphorus and oxygen are strong. So what we can think about occurring is that we're going to be clipping those two portions and connecting that portion to that portion. So that's structurally what's going to be happening. But we also need to be thinking about selectivity. In our selectivity, we need to think about this phosphorus ilid. And the question is, is it stabilized or unstabilized? If it is stabilized, then we're going to get a trans-type system or an E-type system. If it is unstabilized, then we're going to get 
a um, cis system or a z system. If we look here, of course, we got the conjugated pi system. So if I have a negative, I can delocalize that. So that means this one is an un, is a stabilized system. Therefore, when we connect these, we need to make sure that we connect them in a fashion that gives us the trans. This being our product. I hope this helps you learn the Wittig reactions, mechanisms, and selectivity. Thank you for listening today, and I hope you will visit some of our other organo, organic chemistry podcasts.